hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i will be adding a few highlights to this wig right here i think the length is 16 inches i'm not sure though but yeah i plan on cutting this wig after i highlight it but that'll be in a different video for these highlights i'm going to use this salon foil a tint brush and this quick blue lightener oh i'm also going to use this fancy little bowl i like to start off with two scoops of bleach and then add you know eyeball the developer just so i don't make too much because i don't want it to quote unquote go bad if you know what bad bleach looks like then yeah you know what i mean I ended up having to add a little bit more developer because I wanted a little more creamy than what it was. So the consistency you want is like a little more runny than when you're bleaching knots. Y'all, please don't be like me. Add the gloves before you do anything with the bleach. <laughs> As you can see, I'm taking like diagonal sections from the back. As I weave the hair, I'm trying to be careful not to take such big sections. Like I want it to definitely be a good size, but not like chunky highlights, if that makes sense. After weaving the hair, I want to be sure to back comb the hair so I don't get a heavy line of demarcation. Here's a little trick for people who have trouble just keeping the hair on the foil before they put the bleach on. Just add a little bit of bleach to the foil so it can stick. You want to make sure you're getting all up in the hair so going in different directions should help um i will not do the ends because like i said in the beginning i'm going to be cutting the hair so there's no need for me to just saturate the ends just for them to get cut off you know now i'm going to move on to the next section
right about here is when I needed some more bleach so I just used one scoop of powder instead of two this time So now we're at the end of the process. Here's what the head full of foils looks like and I'm gonna let it sit on the hair for about 20 minutes. So let's check on some of these foils. It looks like it can go a little longer so I might need to check another one. Yeah, it looks like it needs to go a little longer. So we're gonna set the timer for 30 more minutes. So now that the time is up, it looks like the hair is as light as it can be. So I'm just going to check a couple of the foils and yeah, let's take these out. When messing with this bleach, you want to make sure you keep your gloves on even while you're washing the bleach out. Don't take your gloves off until it's time to put the toner on. So here's what the hair looks like. Um, I'm going to go in with some blue shampoo just to see if we can take away some of the orangey brassiness. After I make sure the blue shampoo is all up in the hair, I'm going to set a 15 minute timer. Now that the time is up, we need to rinse out all of the blue shampoo. And as you guys can see, it looks a little better. Look, it's not as orange. It looks a little more brown. Now I'm going to go in with my Maui Moisture Coconut Milk Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, you guys couldn't really tell, but I did mix both of them because I was ready to get this process over with. I'm going to give you guys a side-by-side -side of how the hair looks now as opposed to how it looked before we did the toner so you guys can see the difference. If you want more of a difference, you're going to have to use actual liquid toners and they sell those at your local beauty supply. So here are the results after the shampoo and conditioner. Let's go ahead and bring it out and get ready to blow dry. So we're going to go in with the Maui Moisture, the blow dry spray that I swear by. Using the concentrator nozzle, I'm just going through with my fingers 
just trying to get some of that water out before I go in with the vent brush. Here's what the hair looks like completely dry. I will insert a picture of what the hair looked like when I flat ironed it. Yeah, because the camera is not doing the highlight justice. But I'll show you the true color because I flat ironed it in the next video. So be sure to go look at that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here's what it looks like. You can see some of the highlights from the back, which is what I wanted. And yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what else you guys want me to do with these wigs. Let me know what else you guys need help with or any questions you have. So be sure to watch the next video to see how I cut and style this wig. Thanks for watching.